functional life skills. Functional life skills are the skills that are necessary for daily living and for establishing quality of life. These are the skills that if not done by an individual him, by himself or herself, others will have to do for them. Functional life skills include communication, a way to make wants and needs known through language, pictures, signs, etc., including how to say no. Choice making, choosing a preferred item or activity, safety, knowing what to do and keep one safe in dangerous situations such as an accident or in case of a fire or encountering a stranger. Self-care, taking care of your toileting, bathrooming, and any other hygiene or health issues. Leisure and recreation, relaxation and having fun. Vocational skills, working on those skills. So why should we teach those skills? Individuals in special education programming often struggle to learn functional skills, and it is important to develop these skills in order to increase an individual's ability to achieve greater independence. Teaching functional skills also helps mitigate some maladaptive behaviors, for example, self-injury or aggression, by encouraging the individual to choose an appropriate replacement skill. For example, teaching a child to make choices and indicate what he wants gives him a way to express his preferences. This may reduce frustration and likelihood of engaging in maladaptive behaviors. So how do I select the skills that I want to teach? It's important to select skills that are meaningful to the individual and your families that you are working with. Those skills will allow the individual to be independent as possible. It is important to distinguish between the skills that are necessary and the skills that are helpful because there's a difference. For example, while it might be a great idea for the student to understand sight word vocabulary over 100 words, he or, may, he or she may not be able to distinguish the men's room from the women's room. So what's good in the vocabulary? The individual needs to know how to read the signs and then apply it to himself or herself and then be able to use it. So how are functional skills taught? Functional skills are in a student's individualized education program or IEP. IEP goals related to functional skills must specify the level of mastery. This is what is required for the goal to be met and those adaptations to be made. Some skills are taught with 80% mastery. For example, toothbrushing might be 80% mastery might be appropriate, um, including twice a day to help with some of that error that might be happening. And similarly, safety skills are taught to 100% mastery due to those associated risks. For example, an individual, individual will learn their address and phone number However, if he or she is not able to give that to the police officer in that time, it is not very useful for them. There may be a need for ad adaptations. For example, if individuals are unable to repeat important information, perhaps he or she can have a laminated card, and that card has the important information that they need to be able to give to a police officer. Another great functional skill is putting on shoes. For many individuals, shoe tying can be uh, may not be necessary. There are adaptations like Velcro straps or bungee laces and slip-on shoes. And so they want to make sure they're worn as independently and appropriately as possible. Let's talk about task analysis. It's a functional way to teach the breakdown of the steps and the skills in the routine and its component parts to create those routines for each student. They need to be practiced across a variety of settings and with different people in order to teach the individual and apply the routine to any relevant situations, which leads to effective generalization. For those of you who have difficulty with generalization, it's important to teach in the context from the start. For example, when teaching the individual how to put on shoes, the individual should also learn that he or she needs to wear shoes when he or she leaves the house or that shoes stay on when they go out in public. So practicing the functional life skills, let's put it all together. Making sure that the individual has enough opportunity to practice these skills. Reinforcement is an important component of teaching functional skills and following routines with motivating items and activities that increase the likelihood that the learner will engage in these skills or routines at the next opportunity. Visual supports are also a tool that can support a task analysis. These include picture schedules, video modeling, and choice cards. Don't forget to work on the flexibility with the individual as well. So in the shoe tying example, while it is appropriate to wear shoes in most places, there are exceptions, like an emergency situation where they may need to leave the house without shoes. Also, removing shoes before entering a house is customary for some families. While it is not possible for, to think of every exception, teaching flexibility will allow the learner to have these skills that are truly functional to them.
Thank you for watching today's video. If you're new here, make sure to click that like and subscribe button. It would mean so much to me. Click the bell to get notifications for when new videos get released or I go live. As always, leave a comment if you have any questions.